So the Congressional Budget Office has come out and stated that they're about to reach their statutory limits for borrowing. The U.S. is about to reach its, reach its limit for borrowing. So what happens is the Treasury Department has a few options in what it can do going forward. And one of those options is removing the G Fund. Let's talk about it. The G Fund, at least for you guys that watch this channel, understand that the G Fund is one of the most unique funds in the entire world. And the reason is, is because the G Fund, for one, is only offered to you guys, Thrift Savings Plan um, investors. And the way that it pays interest is much higher than it should be in reality. So the way it is, is as being in the G Fund, you can trade in and out of it at any time. So you can, you know, you have a certain amount of inter fund transfers each month that you can go in and out of the G Fund. You can always go back into the G Fund. You can't always go back out of it, but you have options to trade in and out of it. The thing is though, the interest rate that you earn on, a, on the G Fund is much higher than it should be. So the interest rate you earn is that of like a 30 year government bond where in reality you can trade in in and out of it like a you know a, a T note or something like that. Okay, so it's very high rate of return, you know, respectively, um, with an easy time to get in and out of it. Okay, so when you look at the G fund and you say, well, it's only earning about two to three percent, it's barely keeping up with inflation. Yeah, that's true, but there's no downside risk. Okay, the government's never defaulted on its loans, and it, at least in the foreseeable future, probably won't. And that brings us to today. So the G Fund is kind of considered one of your guys' benefits because in reality, nobody else has offered it and it's really a great fund for what it can be used for. Now, should you put all your money in the G Fund? Should everybody put all their money in the G Fund? Probably not, but the G Fund is a great place to park some money uh, that you don't wanna lose anything on because you're not gonna lose anything on and you're gonna earn about a pretty solid guaranteed rate of return. You know, if you put that money in a CD or something, you're not gonna earn that high of a return. So the G Fund, for what it's made for, is actually a pretty good fund. Okay, and I talked about this in the past. I did an article in a video called Goodbye G Fund, question mark, in which I was asking, based upon this house bill that I found, that the G Fund would actually possibly go away. And, and you know, I didn't really hear any other news about it. I read a little bit about it on the Washington Post. They had written about it and then, you know, nothing really ever came out that was until today, okay? And today, the possibility of the G Fund going away has come back on the table. And the reason for that is because on March 16th, the Treasury Department will no longer be able to borrow any more money under standard operating procedures. Debt limit, at least currently, is $19.9 trillion, okay? And Congress, if they don't increase that budget, or they don't increase that amount, they're gonna to have to fin from other sources or they're gonna to have to figure out a way now so they can, at least under normal operating procedures, have access to more money. One of the options that the Congressional Budget Office has come out and stated is an option is to suspend the investments that are currently in the G Fund. What that would mean is that would give the Treasury the opportunity to have access to around $224 billion, and that's how much is currently invested in the G Fund. Now, the Thrift Board has said multiple times over the past you know, 10 years or so that they would make sure that the G Fund investors were made whole once the debt ceiling was increased. But that said, that's still something to be wary of if you have money in the TSP because they have access to it. Okay, and so that is an option on the table. Now, will it happen? I have no idea, okay? Nobody really has an idea because they haven't voted on it yet, but it is something to be on the watch out for, and it is something to be aware of because it could happen in the future, whether it happens now or later. So understand that if you invest in the G Fund, which is a great opportunity for some of your money, that understand that, you know, bills like this could come out in which they could have access to the money that's in there. Now, is that to say that your money would be taken and you would never get it back? Most likely not. I'm sure that the, uh, the government would make you whole in that area, but it is something to be aware of.
Okay, but this has been Cooper with FedRetirementPlanning.com. Keep up with news. I'll probably post some stuff on Facebook about this, uh, so you can find that link in the bio below to the Fed Retirement Planning Facebook page. Um, but until then, keep your questions coming, and uh, we'll see you next time.